Oh, hello there. My name is Curtis Tappenden and I am a further education teacher at the University for the Creative Arts in Rochester. Because I reckon that our teaching at times is a little bit like spinning plates. Here we go. And flip. Whee! And it's not just the spinning of plates. We're expected to juggle. We juggle managers, we juggle our own management, we juggle time, we juggle lesson plans, we juggle students' ability, we juggle their learning assessment program. Ta-da! What a great performance. Mm. Our learners, where well, they tend to come from really quite diverse backgrounds. So most of them are around about 16 years of age and, uh, and they've just come out of GCSE. Very didactic type of learning, being fed the information, uh, regurgitating that information that's been learnt uh, to score the highest possible marks. And we very much view them a little bit like a book, blank like pages. So then we blow a little bit of creative magic on them. And lines appear, there's something to draw upon, a broader experience. And then when they leave us after two years, their lives are colourful. I haven't always been walking around in oversized shoes, spinning plates. I actually began, well that's better, I actually began in back in 1990 when I finished my degree in graphic design specialising in illustration at Brighton. And guess what, I became an illustrator and I've been one for 28 years and I think this is really important that those who teach in further education, if they are practitioners, that they share their good practice with students, they go out drawing with the students. I keep uh, sketchbooks on a daily basis and uh, I'm always sharing and telling uh, students the value of, of exploring the world, becoming curious. And I currently work as, a, as an editorial artist in a national newspaper, as well as teaching. I uh, perform poetry, which I write. I do shows uh, which integrate performance with art, with writing. And I've written 22 books on uh, art and design practice. And these are good too, because I think they sort of qualify uh, what what we do and we're able to share from that. In fact, one of the books is even um, written with the curriculum in mind, uh, sort of teaching good graphic design and um, for schools and colleges. So now, good practice does mean recording yourself and we often ask our learners to, to make records and record themselves in what they do. We've endeavoured to, um, to not just do the lesson plans but also to review what's going on on a daily basis after the lessons and to sit down and talk about what wasn't good, what could be better for us. So that we, uh, for a number of years, I led a creative writing group at Rochester and uh, we teamed up with another institution and we took the learners on a journey with a novelist up to London and they recorded in words and in pictures their journey across, I'm trying to look for the pictures now, um, photographs and pictures, they recorded their journey across London and uh, we actually got it published, it's got an ISBN number and it's in the British Library and also in the National Poetry Library at the Royal Festival Hall in London. And that's a great achievement and what that does, that empowers our learners and they can believe uh, that they actually are creating something to share with others, it has a different gifting value and, uh, and the value of education in co-dialogue, the value of education in expanding our knowledge and in trying new things and taking risks cannot be underestimated. And I consider um, certain learners to be maverick by definition I've offered them as, as, as willful uh, practitioners that really want to do what they do and not necessarily what they're told. And there's a very fine balance here between uh, understanding with a lot of wisdom uh, that everyone has their own ontological view, their own world view of, of their own role and what they're there to do and to be very sensitive to that. But if you're going to push barriers and boundaries, I think you've got to do it dynamically and inspirationally to try and take the learners with you and equally to take your colleagues to share every, everything that is what we consider to be good practice. You say, we ask you to write yourselves up to become critical learners, to become more independent in thinking about what means, what has meaning to you. And as teachers, we need to keep doing the same. 
And I think that is a very humbling experience because you put yourself in the place of your learners. It's really important that we keep an eye on, on who we are as individual teachers, who we are as corporate teachers in further education, and where we're placed. And I work in an institution, and that's tricky, as you know, uh, under the neoliberal systems, which uh, are very keen to audit us, which are very keen to bring about efficiency as a business model, uh, where our universities and colleges now have to operate as business, it's a bit tricky. And whether I end up in the circus, or whether I end up teaching for a number of more years, further education, I just think that we need to keep reassessing who we are and what value we have to offer our students. Uh, I do believe that in FE we can be catalysts for change in education, that we can actually lead um, the professions of education forward from our very good practice. Um,